righty. I think we're live, guys. Give me just a few moments here. I will post my links and be right with you guys. Do -do 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 -do. That copy tweet bonk 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 paste 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 and paste. Beautiful. All right, let's check in and see who's here. Uh, we've got uh, Jones, Vacton, Sailor Champ, uh, Legendary Pepsi, Alad, Donald, Carl, Black, Joseph, Capiton, Chase, My Tail Lights, Baltimore, Atomic, Silver. Miles and Best Gorilla. Welcome to the stream, guys. We are going to get right into this. Now, obviously, it's Tier 6 ranked. Uh, so, right off the bat, we are going to start out with uh, checking out some of the armor profiles of everything. Now, the Americans, I have pretty, pretty down pat. You guys know this. So, uh, I need to mute my TV. Otherwise, you guys will start hearing that in the background. But basically, like the armor of these ships, we know pretty well. Okay, so we're not going to worry about the Americans, but we are going to look at some of the other ones. Uh, more specifically, ships that we think that we're going to come up against. Um, such as the Nagato. Or Nagato. And uh, I'll be real honest, doesn't look like it's going to be anything too scary. Obviously, there's some spaced armor there, or layered armor, I should say. So uh, we've got to watch that at the belt. But oh, overall, not going to be an issue if we run into it. Uh, Duke of York, not going to be an issue. That's a King George. King George also not going to be an issue. Hood, not going to be an issue. Nelson, uh, we, don't, we, don't, we don't have to look at the armor of the Nelson, but we will, just in case. But uh, yeah, anything through the bow is going to obliterate. Uh, if he does angle really well, we've got to watch. we got to try to um, hit towards the front of the ship because uh, he actually does have armor at the belt or the, the middle of the ship, so got to be careful there. Uh, if he overangles, obviously we go right through that like butter. But uh, Genizno, obviously, is going to be one of those that's going to show up. So let's take a look at this bad boy. Uh, it does have an icebreaker bow, which we already knew. So we are going to have to aim high. We still overmatch him, but we got to aim high if he's charging us. Um, anytime we see a Genizno, we're going to take up a kiting position. Just keep him at bay uh, and work him over. Like, it's just, that is what it is. You got to do what you got to do. We, we cannot allow their torpedoes to do what they do. Okay. Same thing for the Sharnhorst, except Sharnhorst, while it does still have that same armor profile, uh, significantly tankier everywhere else. Uh, I don't know what it is about this ship, but this ship is so tanky. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're still going to do the exact same thing. We're going to aim high. We're going to overmatch that bow plating and do what we do. Okay, um, Leon, we may run into this, but I'm not worried about it. It's not exactly scary. It's got a lot of armor. It does have an icebreaker, but it has a lot of armor at the bow that we can overmatch. So it's really not that big a deal. Um, it does have very good side armor as well. So if it angles properly, it can be a problem. But again, don't see this being a significant threat to us, especially considering it does not overmatch us back. It only has those 14 inch guns. So, uh, yeah, not particularly worried about a Leon. Uh, Strasper, same thing. It's, it's got tiny guns. We overmatch this thing everywhere, though. Like, the armor on this thing, it is a donkey at Tier 6. If anybody's dumb enough to bring this into Tier 6, they deserve what they get. Just say it. Uh, Poltava, I don't remember the armor of this thing, but, yeah, it's basically the same. So, you got an icebreaker bow, but you aim high, you're fine. Okay? No problem. Uh, it's got a very, very long bow, though. So there is that. 
you're not likely to citadel this thing through the bow because as you can see citadel doesn't start until much later in the ship so your shells have a long time to detonate before they get to the citadel so with poltava you're not going to detonate it through or you're not going to get the citadels through the bow most likely however it's still got the russian weakness if you get the side you you kill it uh synop this is the one that i think a lot of people think that they're going to be taking and it can be very good but again it's got the same issue it's got an icebreaker but it still has the bow that gets overmatched by 15 inch guns and above and we can absolutely citadel this thing through the bow um, especially at medium range because you get a little bit of that plunging fire while maintaining velocity so if we get into an engagement at this thing at like 12 kilometers look for those citadels through the uh the bow it's going to be it's going to be interesting and obviously if you get this thing sideways it's death so it's ggs all right so that's what we're going to be up against mostly cruisers i'm not worried about we'll deal with that if we get there um we're going to be jumping in the North Carolina for the most part, I think. Um, we may decide to meme it up later in the thing with a uh, game in the Florida or Colorado. But uh, I honestly think that uh, North Carolina should be fine. Now, do I think that the American battleships are the best for this? No. No, I mean, obviously, Gneisenau is going to be extremely strong. It's got very good armor. It's got torpedoes. Scharnhorst as well. Got very good armor and torpedoes. So I don't think the Americans are the best for this tier. And uh, that's part of the challenge of it. And right off the bat, somebody was dumb enough to bring a Strasburg. Okay. Okay. Well, let's show him the error of his ways, shall we? Ah, uh, this is going to be mean. Our biggest issue is that we don't have an icebreaker like all of the other guys do. So, anything that we bow tank that has 15-inch guns and above are going to be able to slap us. So, we have to get them to shoot at the belt armor. That's part of the, the angling and, and making people shoot it at your citadel even though they're never going to hit that if you if you do your job right all right strasburg where are you at there you are oh that's cute that's real cute let me fire back at you in angst oh that was awful dispersion but still effective honestly we literally could just get into a uh yeah Go ahead and enjoy your citadel while it lasts. I'll go ahead and turn in, and we'll see how, how well you do. Shall we? Oh, what's wrong, Mr. Strasburg? You want to run away? Can't imagine why. Now you shoot my superstructure, and my shells go everywhere they have to to avoid him. Of course they do. I'm not going to lie. I'm slightly triggered at the fact that i took a citadel i knew i was going to i was broadside to him but uh he does have a quicker reload than us which is not a bad idea but he also has way worse armor than us and now he's starting the he fight huh okay the ship is on fire. if i can get some fucking dispersion out of this thing it'd be nice there we go force him to come around to us here go ahead and put that out I mean we always have this option as well like we we can always destroy his guns <laughs> and see how he likes that We've taken 50% of his firepower away from him. So now his reload isn't exactly scary. I want to stop in this cap while he reverses away so that we get the points lead. We don't need to push around to him. 
There you go. Now we heal back. Also, I forgot to change our perks around, too, for the 1v1s. So we'll do that coming up, too. I'm not pushing around to him. I'm going to wait for him to come to us. And if he rams us at this point, we win. So it's a GG's. Watch this. Peek says hello. Oh, we didn't get his gun, really? Come on. Got to give me that. Those were tight dispersions, too. My superstructure saturated, so he's not going to be getting much out of anything that he shoots there. But now that he's coming out, he's done. Like, I'm just going to shred him from here. Ah, that's, that's real unfortunate for you. God, my dispersion has been awful so far. We've had like one tight salvo and that was the one that killed the guns. Damn, you damn near missed me, dude. What's wrong? Oh, we get a we get a spotter plane for this next shot. You ready? And Ah, that's the one. That's what we needed. All six shells right through the bow. That looked painful, sunshine. You okay? What happened to your rate of fire? You can angle your guns all you want. I'm overmatching your bow and going into your barbette, buddy. Oh no, he broke my rear gun somehow. And I destroyed his gun again. Ah, uh, that's that's real unfortunate. Oh, you're gonna ram me. Okay, go ahead, ram me. Ah, oh, I survived the ram and you die and I get the fucking win on points regardless. What a great player. Really top notch. All right, so the good news is Strasburg is bad as I thought it was gonna be. The guy actually didn't play it the worst, but uh, yeah, definitely, definitely gonna have to not be quite as cocky going into the fight with uh, Strasburg next time. But uh, as you can see, like it's not a threat if you actually play like you have a brain. All right, what we got? Oh, we got a destroyer. It's a kid. Okay. Okay, Mr. Kid. Is it Monty? No, it's not Monty. Okay. One of these days, these guys are going to stop trying to ram me in their fucking battleships. Like, a, two, two straight streams where we've uh, gotten away with not getting fucking... Or getting rammed by a dummy. And the last time, or not the last time, last stream that we did that, it was actually somebody who was winning the fight who rammed me and lost. <laughs> that was the ultimate karmic victory. I'll take it. All right, so I'm not 100% sure what the range is on the Kid Torps. Anybody got, got a range? Is it eight kilometers or is it six? I want to say it's six. It doesn't really matter. We're going to be in range of his torpedoes pretty much right off the rip. I'm not real confident shooting HE out of my American battleships at destroyers. You guys know I am. I much prefer using fucking AP against them. He's going to get into the cap before, or he's going to have the cap capped before I even get to the cap. I should have went straight ahead. I thought he'd be going for the overlap. He's clearly behind this island. So I'm expecting him to go for the overlap here. Should be getting spotted any moment, or at least I should be getting spotted. I don't know if he will.
The fact that I'm still not spotted is something else. He's just sitting behind an island. I guess he's waiting to ambush me. He does have a heal. We know the kid has a heal. Enemy force detected. Well, I was wrong. He's at this island. Okay, well. We didn't death strike him. The good news is American torpedoes aren't the strongest in the world. that oh we need better dispersion than that we need better dispersion than that that was awful Fucking rear turret split his ass. Literally everywhere but his fucking ship. Now we know we have the fucking, uh, uh, what do you call it? Range of guaranteed acquisition on him. So we've got that advantage. He chased us out of the cap, which is what he wanted. He's not still in the cap. He straight up turned around and ran. So it's going to be up to us to actually uh, capture these bases and flip this. He's actually spotting us, so I think he came out here. And this is where the torpedoes are going to become a problem. He, he's going to shoot us to reset, most likely. Uh, he actually came this way. Okay. There's the shoots to reset. The guy's playing it right. Like, he's actually playing it correct. He's resetting the base. Not sure why he's not using his guns, but, uh... Or, why he's not using his torps, but I respect it. We should have the base capped here. This could be death. It's beautiful. And that's why I say that uh, AP is just as effective against DDs and BB as, as HE. Like, we don't, we're not guaranteed a death strike with HE. AP is a guaranteed two shot. So, it's not, it's not the worst. So, we'll take that. So, uh, well done to him. Shape of Shadow. Well played. Just not quite good enough. Again, if he had used his torpedoes, I think it had a better shot, but I don't know why. He was just refusing to use his torps. So, uh, two up, two down, baby. Hope everybody's having a good time. Hope everybody's having a good day. 230 people watching, only 31 likes. If you guys like what you're seeing, punch that like button for me. All right, we have our first Gneisno. So we are going to have to keep our distance, obviously. Um, the downside is if he if he wants to, he's going to go straight into the cap. He's going to be able to capture the base. There's nothing we can do about that. Our only chance here is to keep our distance and take his fucking torpedo tubes out of the equation. Like, we just we can't allow him to have those torpedo tubes against us. 
It might even be worth switching to HE to try to destroy his torpedo tubes. Like, that might be a thing. Of course, the fucking island eats half of them. And he is pushing in. So we're gonna have to turn out now. And if he just plays the cap game, he could win this match. Because I can't go in and challenge him until his fucking torpedoes are removed. We're gonna give up a big hit here, probably. Actually, we, we gave a big hit. He's going to stay broadside to us. That's not in his best interest. All these fucking islands that they strategically place around the map are kind of fucking us over here. Problem solved, sir. Uh, you're really giving him four full penetrations there? Okay. Okay. Well, we got to double back. We can't get trapped in the corner either. Boy, this fucking map is just so damn small, too. It really does give the fucking Gneisno the advantage. We're gonna slow down and try to stop. I'm assuming he launched his torps early. Or at least... Yep, there they are. And now his torps are out of the fight. We're both in a precarious position. He's got a faster reload than we do. And he knocks out one of our fucking guns. God dang it. He's probably got Torps back by now. Yep. Did we just throw? Damn it, we threw. Hey, fuck. I, I tried to kill him before the... F that... I should have fucking healed that fucking gun. I think if we healed that gun there, we win that fight. I, that was just dumb. I should never have left that gun knocked out to heal on its own. We played that pretty well. Uh, we anticipated his torpedoes. We forgot German torpedoes reload really quickly. So, uh, yeah, just, just took our fucking time, unfortunately. That map sucks, though, man. It's so tiny. There's so many fucking islands. There's no way to fucking maneuver your battleships. Like, they need to have some maps that are just, like, suited really well for battleships. Oh, we get an instant fucking re rerun here. So we'll see if we do a better job this time. But again, the maps are so fucking tiny. They don't give you a whole lot of room. And when you're dealing with a fucking German battleship that has torpedoes... You know what? I think we go with HE initially. I'm going to try to destroy some torpedo tubes here. That's our goal. If we can hit a torpedo tube early and destroy it, I think we have a better chance. Of course, we won't know which side we destroy, but we'll, like, as he tries to, like, torp us, it'll become apparent. Yo, Legendary, coming in with the two Euros. 90% Gneisenau users will hate it. Yeah, well, I mean, Gneisenau's a great ship for this. So, 
Like if you're if you're failing in the Gnizno, you're probably the problem. It's not the Gnizno. In a 1v1, the Gnizno is very strong. But look at that shit. We can't hit him. North Carolina, please. Like you gotta hit these fucking shots. He is going broadside, which means I should have AP loaded here, but uh He knocks a gun. Every fucking time they shoot me, they hit a gun. Every time. I'm trying to hit those fucking shots on the fucking superstructure to potentially knock out. Yeah, we're not going to fucking waste our time with HE. Like, he's clearly rushing us. I'm going to turn out here hoping that he misses. Eh. Gets a fire. He's a secondary build, Gnizno, so he's going to have five heals, most likely. We got to aim high. Need better than that. Knocks out the rear gun. Now we got to switch sides, because the maps are so fucking tiny, you can't really maneuver. This is the challenge that we put on ourselves. This is the challenge. The ship is on fire. And here's the issue, like, we're running out of fucking room once again. Like, we just don't have room to maneuver our fucking ships to avoid these fucking torpedo boats. Like, <laughs> there's just no room. You need room in this fucking shit. And the game just completely neuters your ability to fucking avoid these guys. Enemy heavily damaged. Couple more hits like that will be okay. But if he gets a good salvo here, he could kill us. Yeah, there's a couple pins. We know torps are on their way, and he gets a fucking double fire. Torpedoes to starboard. Dude, these fucking guys knows, man. You can't citadel them. You blap the shit out of them, but the the maps are so tiny. It's not like PC. PC still has decent sized maps. The maps are so fucking tiny, you just can't outmaneuver them. You can't outmaneuver him. You're fucked. All right, we've got to we've got to do something different here. What can we do differently? We we got to change a little bit. Let's get rid of fucking reaching out for the emergency specialist cuz that's been fucking us over. Um how are we going to do this? Do, do, do. Hmm. I want to do this with American battleships. This is the this is the challenge that I put put myself in. But with all the fucking Gnizenos, this is gonna be a pain in my ass. The maps are just too fucking small to avoid their bullshit. They just rush right at you. You can't fucking avoid it. Hmm. Well, there's not a whole lot I can do. We swapped out emergency or swapped out the uh, reaching out for emergency specialists because we don't need the extra range. I've already got rudder shift and stuff built into my fucking battleship builds. Like, you guys should already know that, but yeah. Hey, another Strasburg. Well, that's not going to be an issue. Somebody we get to bully.
So far, the issue has been inconsistency out of our main guns at range, which is unusual for my fucking North Carolina. It's usually, like, the one that actually hits the fucking target. And then on top of that, we're just running out of room to maneuver our ship. The fucking maps are so damn tiny, we can't maneuver. Enemy force detected. Oh, God. What's going on? Had a bit of a frame drop issue. Hopefully that stops. Don't know what the hell that's all about. Sorry about that, chat. Yeah, it literally goes exactly where it has to to avoid hitting him. Like, that is unacceptable dispersion, man. Like, what am I getting out of dispersion in this game? It's the worst ever. He's farming our superstructure, which is fine. Like, let him fucking shoot my superstructure. I'm not worried. There we go. That's better. Given the poor dispersion that we've had so far, like, I'm actually contemplating going for... Look at this. Like, given our poor dispersion so far, I'm actually contemplating going for the fucking, um, the brawler build. And you're gonna give it- Okay, I shoot at his guns, I don't get a, a gun knocked out. He shoots at my guns, gets a gun. Explain that, Wargaming. Please. Please explain that. I have 16-inch guns, he has 14-inch guns. He knocks out my guns before I can knock his out. Really? Look at this. Like, what is our dispersion in this fight? Like, this man is getting away with fucking bullshit because I'm not allowed to hit him. Solved, like, my shells are splitting him and just avoiding hitting his ship. Knocks the turret again. Like... Main turret critically damaged. All right. All right, Strasburg. If I'm allowed to hit him, I can slap him. Like that. Like, that's one gun. If I can hit him, I fucking fuck him up. And it just, he knocks out the other fucking turret. This guy is knocking our turrets out. We're not allowed to knock his out. That's fantastic. And now he hits my superstructure and does that. Okay. Again! I'm not allowed to kill his fucking super... Like... Where is his fucking guns? Like, what do I have to do to actually fucking damage his guns here? I'm dead. Like, he's gonna kill me before I get loaded, probably. Like, the game has fucked me with fucking the worst RNG on the fucking planet. Finally, we get one of his fucking turrets. It's about fucking time. He's gonna beat our reload and kill us. Like, it is damn near 100% at this point. Alright. Get the fuck out of here. Fucking horseshit. 
The worst fucking RNG on the fucking planet. Dude knocked my gun out every time he aimed for it. And on top of that, gets the bullshit with the fucking, like, my shell's just splitting his ship. We're done with the fucking dispersion build. We're done. William Sims, hate to say it, but you're fucking gone. You're out. We are going full Willis Lee. We will fucking buff the secondaries, buff our... F We're not getting dispersion anyway, so we might as well buff the fucking survivability of our shit. That shit's fucking obnoxious, man. Fucking obnoxious. Like, we're not allowed to hit him. He's just going everywhere but him. Let's get all the fucking shit. All of it. And we're not even going to use the fucking spotter plane. We're going for secondary booster. Also, why did... Oh, because the fucking CC thing. Let's go. Hey, yeah, he, he should have killed me. He was getting the fucking RNG of the gods. Like, I'm not allowed to hit him? What the fuck? He's five kilometers or less, and we're not allowed to hit his ship. We're hitting everywhere but his ship. Like, he has no armor. I overmatch every part of his ship. Here we have a fucking Sharn Horse. Same thing as the Gneisenau. So we're going to have to keep keep a bit of a distance. We don't have to worry as much about his guns because, I mean, it's 283 millimeter guns. So I'm not worried about those. But hopefully our secondaries will do a little bit better to help us in this. I mean, clearly our fucking main guns aren't going to be the fucking ticket because they've been fucking so inconsistent. I don't understand it. Like, literally don't understand why my fucking North Carolina in a 1v1 can't hit the fucking target at 3 kilometers, but whatever. We'll fucking fix that shit. We'll fix that shit. I know that German tier, tier 6 torpedo boats roll the fucking thing. That's the thing. I want to show that the American boats could do just as, as well. Here's the problem. We've got to actually show that the Americans can, can beat these fuckers. And I know they can. We've just gotten really unfortunate because these fucking maps are so god darn tiny. They don't give you any fucking room to maneuver your fucking battleship. Enemy force detected. Oh, we just got better dispersion with a fucking... Uh, brawler build than we got with our fucking dispersion build. Explain that horse shit. First shot out of the gate. Fucking nailed him. We aimed high game for fuck's sake. Quit hitting a belt. We've got a perma fire. The ship is on fire. Use our first heal. We get five heals with this build too. That's the other good thing. Destroy one of his guns. Breaker. How is he killing me with through my bow? This is bullshit. Swing and a miss, sunshine. Swing and a miss.
We basically turned this thing into a Graf Spee. All right, first German battleship down. I'm not playing anymore. I will beat you, little fucking Germans. Promise. Promise! Also, guys, make sure that we're keeping the um, the politics in chat down to a minimum. I know with current events going on, it can be easy to get suckered into it, but please just keep that out of it. The whole point of these streams is to get away from reality, so keep it civil, or uh, there will be there will be repercussions. Action stations. I know you guys generally do a pretty good job of keeping everything civil. Where are you, Aaron, coming in with the $5 dono? The champagne sucks. I mean, I'm not, I mean, if that's the case, then I must be better than you, Aaron. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I just must be better. Hashtag confirmed. Sayed coming in with the $5 Spartan showing the regular support. I appreciate you, my dude. Thank you. You guys are fantastic. I appreciate you guys. Oh, Atlanta. Oof. Well, I mean, I love that our secondaries already hit him too. I'm going to kill him with the secondaries at this point. Like, I'm just going to, as soon as I get another shot, he's radaring me. Isn't that cute? He's actually radaring me. Atlanta! Oh, is that what you plan on doing, huh? That's not going to work out too well for you. Now I'm sonar. <laughs> this guy just wants to see me, guys. Don't worry, you'll see me soon enough. We're going to slow down. I have a feeling he's launched torps. I mean, he is going around the map, too. Doesn't matter what he wants to try at this point. It literally does not matter. He tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. He had to fall to lose. Or wait. Is that it? I forget. Get him! Get him, secondaries! If that's true, you have a nicer singing voice. Is this guy actually just going to play keep, keep away? Is he going to make me regret not shooting him? Well, now he can't see us. 
I don't want to shoot him with the main guns. I want the secondaries to do it. He's probably freaking out because he's within three kilometers and we can detect him and he can't detect us. RGA mod, boys. <laughs> this is what it does for those of you who are wondering. All it's going to take is like one or two more secondary hits and we got him killed, so... Hello, sunshine. Get him, secondaries. Secondaries? There we go. <laughs> All right. Poor Atlanta. That man never had a chance. All right. All right, what are we up against? A Sharnhorst again. Okay. All right. Well, we know what to expect. Don't feel bad, Aaron. I do the same shit to Peek when Peek uh, posts that he sold a ship. I usually end up posting a video shortly after in that ship. Of course, this one wasn't my control. It was a challenge. Somebody challenged me, said they would give me a $10 dono, and they actually followed through. So, we we smashed it. It was a great game, though. Only one. Get the early fire. Come on, secondaries. I think what we're going to have to do with these fucking uh, German torp boats is we're going to have to use the islands to our advantage rather than as a disadvantage. Like, I think that's going to be a thing. Wouldn't surprise me if he just launched torps through that gap. Is he going to reverse into this broadside on in front of 16-inch guns? I highly discourage this tactic. But, you know, if you're going to do it, we damn sure will take advantage of it. Problem is, he's going to have the bases, so we're going to have to kill him relatively quick here. Because the, the points do add up very quickly in this. Might as well use our first heal. I know it's not a full heal, but we'll take it. Get that second one up and running soon.
Holy shit. He just got all of the damage. Two torps shouldn't kill. Main turret critically damaged. I've got to avoid running into this island. What is that? Oh yeah, brawler build. Okay, we should have the island blocking his shot. I just came up with an idea in my head, too. We're going to have to try that in the near future. Get him, secondaries. Show him why American secondaries are just better. As he gets a fire with his secondaries. God dang it. The ship is on fire. Beautiful. Another one down. I just came up with this idea. All right, so. Our secondaries are good, don't get me wrong. So range and shell grouping, range and dispersion. So we are definitely going to take Haruna off rather than Hipper. And we are going to swap him with, or her with, uh, what is the one that reduces the freaking um, torpedo damage? Anybody know right off the top of their head? There's one of the, the commanders has the inspiration of reducing torpedo damage. Torpedo damage to your ship is reduced by 6%. That might be that might be something we go with here. Let's do that. And not only that, but uh, let's go with uh, where's Hood? Hood, 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 Hood. Let's go ahead and see let's it goes up six and a half let's just crank this up might as well and that takes us up to an eight eight percent torpedo damage reduction we've got enough to do this as well that takes us up to eight and a half can we get nine percent don't think so no not quite so eight and a half percent on top of our uh Twenty-five percent. So that gives us uh, thirty. Yeah, yeah. It gives us what thirty-three percent, thirty-three and a half. So that'll help a little bit. Not amazing, but yeah. But will to rebuild allows you to look. So the reason I'm keeping will to rebuild on, I'll show you. So will to rebuild allows for. Um, do passive effect amount of hit points recovered as well as repair party duration so like this gets us our heals back faster and allows us to uh recover more hit points 
right? Am I reading that wrong? So, maybe I'm wrong. What else we got? We got battleships, main gun, AP, and HE shells damage. But it's traverse of battleships, guns, and rudder shift. But makes the dispersion worse. So we're definitely not running that. And then this, of course, is fire damage to your ship is reduced. So I think we'll leave will to rebuild on for now. And then we'll go with this and see what this is like. So if we do have to take... If we do have to take torpedoes, we're going to take less damage from those torpedoes. Because let's be real. The only threats that we've had so far are from Gneisenau and Scharnhorst. Like, Strasbourg has been a little bit of a pain in my ass. Which is ridiculous to say out loud. But they still, at the end of the day, been dead. Okay, we've got New Orleans. This is death. Like, I don't know. This is not a good choice um, for him. Because he's got no chance. None. He has no chance. I will go right at him. His only hope is to capture a base quicker than I can, which, of course, we spawn right next to the base, so that's not going to happen. And then ram me. Because he's not going to kill me with his guns before I can kill him with my guns. He doesn't have torpedoes. So, I get it from a cruiser versus cruiser standpoint, but uh, from a battleship potential, like, the New Orleans is not a good, good opportunity. Yeah, but you also got to think we also are running the Brawler build, which gives us five heals. So even though it may not be that great on a standard heal, it's still better with five heals. You're still going to be recovering more HP, and at the end of the day in a 1v1, that could be the difference between winning and losing the fight. And he's not even in the cat. He probably gave up. Like, he probably loaded in, saw, saw it was me in the North Carolina. Nope, I lied. He's in the cap. It's like, he probably just saw it was me. He's like, nope, I'm out. This guy's going to fucking murder me. Yeah, but you get worse dispersion. And we're already running a brawler build. Hello, New Orleans. Goodbye, New Orleans. Oh my god. He lives. Why? Why do I have to leave everybody alive? Ah, oh, we're just going right at this guy. He's got no chance. We get down to about seven and a half. Well, actually, it might be uh, less than that with Haruna off, but about seven and a half kilometers our secondaries do we just let him like die to our secondaries at this point i think we do i think we just hold our guns and try to kill him with the secondaries go ahead and hit that first heal secondaries should there we go secondaries should be popping off Look at the secondary damage, man. He's got no chance. And there's a fire. Goodbye. <laughs> well, that was easy. Next. Well, sometimes it's better to just let the secondary gunners get involved, you know. Let them get their target, uh, get their get their practice in, their target practice. Those 5-inch 38s, you just got to let them work. 
What are we up against? It's a Ganizano. All right, here's our first chance against the Ganizano to finally get our retribution. Are we finally going to get that win? Let's see. I have a good feeling. You say no one can miss point blank. I beg to fucking differ. The shots versus the Strasburg with a dispersion build at three fucking kilometers can tell you that the ship will miss at point blank. 100%. The downside is we don't have a plane to actually spot him with. We've got secondaries, so we've got to spot him and figure out where he's at. If he comes around the left, which would be the normal play going for the overlap, or if he comes around the right, which would be the thing that I think he's going to do. The fact that we haven't seen him yet is a little disconcerting. Ah, he went for the overlap. Okay. That's fine. Enemy sighted on the horizon. Oh, we sit it out the man! Oh! Get wrecked, and we got a fire with our secondaries already. Oh, we are not letting you get away. He hasn't even shot us yet. All right, guns on the right. We're doubling back. Fire's still doing what they're doing. Okay, he finally put the fire out. That's a huge opening trade, man. Huge. Knocked one of his guns temporarily. Coming out full broadside was a bit of a dumb move. Let our secondaries do what they do. And get our first heal. Come on, set a fire, damn it. There we go.
All right. Finally got a little bit of retribution against the Gneisenau. And, uh, yeah, he's a 52% win rate player, so above average, but nothing special. All right, what do we got? A Talin. Okay. All right, Talin. Let's see if you fare better than the other cruisers have. Now I know the Talin has ridiculous AP, so uh, we gotta we gotta be, be a little bit more, you know, careful of that. But a little bit of angling should keep him from being a problem. Battle starts. I don't know why we're going up against so many cruisers today. We had the Atlanta, we have a New Orleans, now we got a Tallinn. Had a kid in there as a destroyer. No, I mean, North Carolina kind of started the whole fast battleship thing, uh, and then it was uh, free, or it was continued with the South Dakota class, which is Massachusetts and, and Alabama. There you can see that's fantastic fucking, oh, look at that shit. Literally painting a circle around his fucking ship. Don't worry, we'll get closer. Our secondaries will start hitting them when we get closer, too. I think we'll just stay bow in for now. Yeah, go ahead and shoot me with HE. I don't care. There we go. Confirmed penetration. Ouch. See, that's that's the downside of this fucking ship's AP. It's disgusting. I thought I could I thought I could wrap that front gun around the island. It sure looked like it. Yeah, the fucking Talin's AP is disgusting, man. For real. Like, even in battleships, it'll fucking it'll fuck you up if given the opportunity. I've been on the receiving end of that a few times. Preston! Are you in chat, Preston? I'm fairly confident this is the Preston from Instagram. Ouch. GG's. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm about to get a message on Instagram. I'm, I'm fairly confident that's him. I could be wrong. We'll see. If I get a message, it was definitely him. What we got? We got a Gneisenau again. Okay. Can we make it two and two? At least have an even record versus Gneisenau's. I'll feel better. I feel much better about myself. Our 
Construction stations. All right, so the initial push is going to get close to the thing and then turn out. That gives us a lot more room to maneuver after the initial engagement. His guns ain't even looking at us. The hell's he looking at? <laughs> this man, this man ain't even looking at us. So what we're trying to do is draw him into a close quarters fight and then we'll turn in and kite out. It's kind of a balancing act, but that gives us a much bigger area to, to work with. Oh, he's shooting HE. That's cute. All right. Now we're within... Oh, boy. Oh, he loaded AP. I'll give him credit for that. That was a good good AP. I wasn't expecting it. It baited me in. Problem solved, sir. Oh, look, torpedoes. Who could have seen that coming? Problem is, we're not able to get our guns to bear. We're only able to use the rear turret. And our gun's fucking slow as shit. Oh, he actually fucking... He played that one well. The ship is on fire. Oh, this is a pain in my ass. I can't get my fucking full firepower to bear, and he's getting torpedo after torpedo into us. And now we're out of room. And he gets a fire right after putting out the flood. The ship is on fire. Let's see if we can't cross his bow here. I doubt it, but... Oh, he fucked up. He actually fucked up hard. And he's shooting HE still. He shouldn't be able to torp us from this close. They shouldn't arm, right? No, they totally fucking arm. What is the fucking minimum arming distance for torpedoes? Like, seriously, what is the minimum fucking arming distance? I shouldn't have to scratch the paint off of a ship to keep uh, fucking getting torped. Like, that's so dumb. They need to fucking increase that shit. Out here getting beat by scrubs and fucking trash ships. God dang it. That's so fucking annoying. Like, what is the fucking minimum arming distance in Legends for fucking torpedoes? It's like 0.3 kilometers or some bullshit. That's stupid. Like, you play everything so well, and then you just get fucked over because of the bullshit fucking arming distance on the torpedo. Like, how many torpedoes did we dodge there? We took two, I think, max, out of all the ones that he sent us. He had two full reloads on both sides, and then that third one got us. God dang it, man. It's so dumb. They really, really need to fucking change the minimum arming distance on these fucking torps, man. For real. Is you should not literally have to fucking ram a ship to keep from getting torped. 
Like, I don't go for rams. That guy probably thought I was going for the ram. I wasn't going for the ram. I wanted to cross his bow. But... Either way. Enemy force sighted on the horizon. Still, 0-3... Oh er, 1-3 one and, one and versus a fucking Gneisno, man. HE spam already. Good opening salvo. Can't argue with that. Marco Rodriguez. How goes it? Let him fire his shot and then we'll turn out. There we go. That's what we were waiting for. That's what we were waiting for. Poltava, no match. So far, really, the only thing that we've struggled with is Gneisenau. It's real unfortunate. Uh, I don't think he actually was trying to ram. I think he was just avoid trying to avoid me getting his broadside, which, I mean, I'm moving faster. He's slowing down to try to stop me. So, like, there's no way he's going to avoid me getting his broadside. It's going to happen. All right, we got Gneisno again. We've got to try something a bit different this time. Have to. We, we've got to do something different. We can't keep allowing these Gneisnos to bully us. And I don't know what we got to do here, but we definitely got to try. He's faster than us. That's, that's one of the problems. Like, North Carolina is not a slow battleship, but he's faster than us. I think he does 27 or 28 knots. Might even go faster than that if you build for a speed build. But, uh, yeah, uh, Gneisenau's faster than us, so he can close on us, which has been the issue so far, because even when we try to kite away, they just run us down. It depends. Like, if you're talking about best tier 6 ship, or battleship, or whatever, the best tier 6 ship for 1v1 ranked, I would say is probably Gneisenau. And that's not even a question. Like, Sharnhorst just doesn't have the guns to, to do it. Enemy force detected. What is that? We need a bigger hit there, game. We need a bigger hit there. Alright, torpedoes are almost certainly already en route. There's no reason he would go broadside like that for nothing. I'm starting to think the running with scissors wouldn't be a bad, bad call here. Yeah, there's the torps. Due to the, uh, the increased turret traverse. Like, I think that would be a big deal. This guy has no fucking clue what he's doing. He is solely going for torpedoes. Which is fine with me. Go ahead. Launch your torpedoes. He 
Use this island. Fuck, this island catches up to you a lot quicker than I expected. Not gonna lie. Of course he causes a flood. Why wouldn't he? Below the water line. We're flooding quickly. on water quickly it's fucking obnoxious dude there's just nothing you can fucking do there's nothing you can do dude gets multiple fires he gets me i gets a perma flood he gets a flood right off the bat with the one fucking torpedo like i am damn sure trying like i got the best possible start in that and they just they're too fast you can't fucking get away from them they just run you down like you can't kite the maps are too fucking small so you can't use range against them like, there's just nothing that you can really do except hope the guy is a complete fucking idiot. Like, that is the only hope that you have, is that he is a complete fucking idiot. Anything with 15-inch guns and above can overmatch every battleship at Tier tier 5 and 6. Um, tier 7's when they get the 32mm bows. So, all you gotta do is recognize who has icebreakers and who doesn't. And shoot, shoot the areas that you overmatch. Don't shoot the icebreaker. That's all. But, yeah, these fucking good eyes and those, man. Unless the guy is a complete fucking idiot, it's damn near fucking impossible to lose in a fucking good eyes and a 1v1. You have to be a real fucking idiot to lose a 1v1 in a good eyes and But again, this is why it's a challenge, folks. That's why we did this challenge. We've had a pretty easy ride for the first few seasons. But uh, we're actually going up against ships that hard counter us. So we got to outplay them. And so far, we're 1-4 and four against the fucking Gneisenau, man. We put up hell of a fight. It's not like we're fucking... Oh, Jesus. This could end badly. That's going to hurt. Yep. Hit him back. Fucking French magic armor bullshit. God dang it. I was not expecting him to be on that side. I will be 100%. Was not expecting it. I thought he'd be going for the overlap. So, we start out with a pretty nasty fucking trade. You hate to see. But, it's okay. Because he doesn't overmatch us and we overmatch him, so... God, the fucking turret traverse. I don't remember the turret traverse on my fucking North Carolina being an issue, but when you're in a 1v1, it definitely shows as a problem. Jesus. 16 guns are no fucking joke. 
please don't hit the fucking island. Not like this. I am so fucked. He's about to blap us again. Dude, it just fucking takes so much damage. I, I thought I was angled relatively well this time. And they give him the fire. And they give him the fire. Like, we're done. This Leon just kicked our ass. We get a heal back. Let's try to get fucking guns around the other side. Dude, our fucking tur What is our turret traverse? I gotta look that up after this. Our turret traverse must be like 80 fucking seconds. It's fucking awful. See what I mean about the map sizes, though? Like, you just don't have any room to maneuver. Like, you try to get some distance, create some distance, and the game forces you broadside to these fuckers. Like, you just... For battleships, this 1v1, like, size of the arena sucks. I need to survive his next salvo here. We'll be able to get some health back here again in 30 seconds. And they all fall short. Of course they do. That's exactly what I needed out of you, game. How did you know? How did you know that that was exactly what I needed out of you? Just all of the rounds to hit fucking short. Just shoot the fuck out of that water. Dude, our fucking accuracy in this battle has been awful. Shoot the damn target! This is the one time where having a fucking... Like, having the ability to hit the target would come in real fucking handy in this one. Aim high, maybe. There we go. Dude, how are you giving him so many? I am angled relatively well. His little pea shooters should not be going through. Jesus. And once again, we've hit another fucking map border. Dude, we are so dead. We are so fucking dead. There's nothing we can do here. Jesus Christ. This is fucking embarrassing, man. This is actually embarrassing. I've never had... Dude, the fucking accuracy... I get it. We're not running a fucking dispersion build, but come on, man. You gotta hit the fucking target. We're at spinning distance, for God's sakes. How do you miss so many fucking shots at point fucking blank? Like, come on. This is ridiculous. That man never missed a single shell. I'm fairly confident he hit us with every single fucking shell. All right, this is a Benson, so we know he could have 9.2 kilometer torpedoes. So we got to watch that. Oh, the, the Leon's a fantastic ship. I don't know why anybody would say it wouldn't. Like I said, it's not necessarily the best for ranked, but fuck. He didn't miss a single shot. We're running a fucking brawler build because we're running into so many fucking Gneisenos. Trying anything we can to get away from the fucking Gneisenos and Scharnhorsts. We just can't get over the fucking hump. So now when we're going up against shit that we should be able to fucking dominate. Well, he's on this side, we know that. So, like, when we go up against the shit we should be able to dominate, we're fucking missing all of our shots.
Benson gets 10 torpedoes with a long reload. Oh, this guy, this guy knows the deal. There's nothing you can do. Like, if the destroyer is going to be rushing like that, there's nothing you can do. Like, he held his torpedoes until he got alongside. He knew that he could take the fucking hit. That's what a destroyer player should do in a fucking battleship versus destroyer, not what they normally have been doing against us every other time. That's actually the first destroyer that we've lost to in all of the ranked battles so far. Like, we've faced several destroyers. We've not lost a single engagement until just now. Shardhorst. Well, we know we can win this fight. If the guy's an idiot. Yeah, there's, like I said, there was not a whole lot we could do there. We started with AP loaded, which was probably not the right choice. Probably should have loaded HE. Would have probably got a better salvo there, but. When a destroyer wants you dead and it's a 1v1, all they have to do is wait. They're going to survive your fucking first salvo and then they just come up and nuke you. There's nothing you can do. Like, there's no surviving a fucking salvo of torpedoes when you are literally able to drop them at point blank. It's just, there's nothing you can do. Enemy force detected. Nice fucking delay. I am so glad that that's a thing. Jesus, man. Why is that a thing? Why can I pull the fucking trigger twice to get a fucking full salvo and get nothing out of it? Where was that accuracy against the fucking Leon, huh? That'd have been real fucking handy. Two ricochets, huh? Ah, oh, you launch torps. Who could have seen that coming? Still haven't lost against the Sharnhorst. You say so many OP premium ships, but I haven't seen any OP premium ships yet. Everything that we've faced that's been any sort of problem has been tech tree. Hey, look, an, an OP premium ship. <laughs> that was good timing. Our 
Like I said, the issue that we've had so far has just been not enough room to maneuver. Like you can bait people into torping early, you can you can dodge the torps, but eventually they will fucking kill you. They have speed advantage, they have torps, they have the armor to take the beating. They survive just long enough to get 60 fucking torpedoes away at some point. And you run out of room. You just don't have enough room to maneuver your ship. It really puts the Americans at a disadvantage in these 1v1s. Enemy force detected. Hello, Southern Dragon. How are you doing? You want to go ahead and try to torp me? I have. I believe in you. You can do it, Southern Dragon. There you go. That's what we were looking for. Target penetrated. Goodbye. <laughs> yep. That's that's there you go. You are going to play a game of Rent and try to fight me. A game of Rent? You mean Ranked? Okay. How the fuck are we going to keep this guy at bay? Again, they just... They fucking... They just don't have any room. Like, this is the best possible map that we have. This one in uh, Tears of the Desert. But there just isn't enough room to maneuver. <laughs> just isn't. You need to be able to, to bait people into torping. And you've got so many fucking islands on these damn maps that you can't really do that effectively. They close the distance. So you can't really, you can't really kite away effectively. The Gneisenau, unlike the Turpets and uh, Brandenburg and them, doesn't seem to ever get its fucking torque tubes killed. Dude, where was this accuracy when we needed it against the fucking Leon? turn out we should be lowering our citadel means he shouldn't be able to citadel us here also i keep put i keep forgetting to increase our turret traverse it is a thing that i keep forgetting what we want him to do is get into those fucking islands we can use these islands to keep him from being able to maneuver i think that'll be better for us got a citadel that time but so did we interesting so far so good is he gonna stop or is he gonna come through because we've got to start maneuvering oh he's coming through Come on, secondaries. Give me a fire, damn it. Please. Give me a fire!
Finally! All right, now we should just wait for him to come around the corner. Go ahead and hit the heel. All right, three more wins, guys. That's all we need. Three more wins. Yo, we got over 400 people watching, 170 likes. If you guys are enjoying, please punch that like button. It does help me out a lot. I do appreciate you guys. North Carolina versus North Carolina? Holy shit. This is the first North Carolina brother I've seen out here. The struggle is real, my dude. Mango juice. I see you. I respect you. Until you completely show yourself to be complete in completely inept. This will be an interesting fight. If he's running a dispersion build, he could fuck us up. And let's be honest, he's probably running a dispersion build. He should be right over here. I'm surprised he hasn't put up a plane to spot us yet. Enemy force detected. Okay, so he's coming to the inside. All right. All right. So here's the deal. We're going to have a hell of a fucking slugfest here. Does he know the fucking weak points or is he is he like completely inept? We're about to find out. Well, he's not running the fucking range of guaranteed acquisition. Don't ram, dude. Don't be that guy. Also, he's dead here. Ouch. Called it. All right, two more wins, guys. All right, we've played the North Carolina quite a bit. Let's go ahead and give uh, Florida a chance, even though this is going to be awful. Let's be real. This is this is going to be downright fucking terrible. <sighs> I'm not looking forward to this. What up, guys? Appreciate everybody dropping in. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. Been a, a bit of a struggle today with all these Gnizenos. Wow. This couldn't have been the most perfect fucking time to have this ship. Oh, my God. 
This is gonna be glorious. This is the one time we might actually fucking obliterate a destroyer in one salvo. This, this could be glorious. We're gonna have the HE loaded. We've got a spotter plane ready. We've got a dispersion build. All we gotta do is wait for him to go for his torpedoes and we should be able to annihilate him. We have 12 fucking rounds of high explosive 14 inch guns. Right, this should be a dev strike, hopefully. This is the one time where the Florida actually might have been the perfect choice. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Already spotted. Enemy force detected. Well, if he's gonna let us shoot at him this early, we'll take that. There we go. Get our guns loaded. Get ready. <laughs> yep. Like I said, and there's the Florida. There you go. The perfect ship for ranked. <laughs> All right. Let's finish it out with the dispersion build Colorado for the win. Good old flow rider, baby. Good old flow rider. Tommy Richardson, you were mango juice. All right. GG's my dude. Uh, I apologize, but uh, it was a good trade. Oh, my God. And we get to finish out with this. Oh, you poor bastard. You poor bastard. Oof. Well, ranked battles was fun, folks. If I lose to an Indianapolis in a Colorado... I deserve to uninstall the game. You guys should just unsubscribe from me right now. Let's just put that put that out there. If I lose to this guy right now and my Colorado dispersion build in a 1v1 with an Indianapolis, I should just stop playing the game. You guys have to un unsubscribe. Like, this is where something stupid happens and I get death struck by a fucking fluke shell that, that detonates my ammo mag or something and then I, everybody fucking is like, oh, you gotta uninstall, you said it. We're all unsubbing. It's your fault. You should have just kept your mouth shut, Spartan. <laughs> what, you guys are saying you want me to actually throw this match versus this guy? So that we have a chance to go against each other that's probably not going to happen. Sorry to say, but that's not going to happen. Oh no, we're spotted, guys. Wonder who it could be. Right now, this guy's going, what the hell am I going to do? Like, how the hell do we pull this off? Oh, he's shooting AP. So he got, he's got business on his mind. La la la, la da da da. La 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 la, la 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 la. Boy, this guy does not want to fight us. Can't imagine why. He wants to draw this shit out. Hey, we're radar. That's cute. Oh, he's contesting the base. It's about to get interesting, boys. And by interesting, I mean it might be over very quickly. Oh, sneaky little bastard. All right, well, uh, GG. Overpins, seven overpins on an American heavy cruiser. 
Here, I'll, I'll let him peck away at me. Go ahead. Hit me. There you go. Good job. Good job. Well done. Can't believe we overpinned him that many times. Good lord. I wonder if his thought process is going to be cap the base and then run. Like use the islands as like a ring around the rosy sort of deal. Man, this guy's fucking fast at getting around the islands. That was gonna go through the island. Problem solved, sir. The ship is on fire. It's the double fire. Problem solved, sir. I'll be honest, this has lasted a lot longer than I was expecting. Oh, there's the Pitadel. Of course, they, you gotta throw the Pitadel in there once we've taken all of his hit points. You gotta love it. Alright, well, there you go, guys. Ranked Season uh, Tier 6, over. Done with American Battleships. Played all, all three of the American Battleships. I don't consider the Ignis a, an American Battleship. So, uh, there you go. 32,000 damage to finish. No big deal. Gray, yeah. Poor guy. All right, let's look at what our stats were, guys, shall we? I know we had a lot of losses in this one, or at least it felt like it anyway. So uh, let's go ranked and then season 24. We had a 73% win rate. Uh, we had 16 kills by main guns. And we lost, uh, what, we had 22 battles. So we lost seven. Is that right? Am I, am I thinking that right? Uh, yeah. Six battles. Six battles was lost. But 56% main gun accuracy. We hit people pretty much every time we fired. With the exception of the fucking Leon, who I just couldn't hit. But, uh, yeah. Not bad. Not a bad game. Little less XP than we usually get. So there's that. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed, man. This was a this was an interesting struggle. We knew it was gonna be. We knew it was gonna be a struggle. Like it it was definitely gonna always be a struggle. Make no mistake. Let's try the Kansas just for lulls to end the stream. But uh, we knew it was gonna be a struggle due to the fact that we have Gnizenos out there. Gnizeno is easily the best pick for this, hands down. It's not even close. Like, but. I think we did a pretty good job. Even in the fights where we lost to the Gnizeno, we damn near killed every single one of them. 
I think there was one guy I know that actually put a put a pretty good hurting on us. Everybody else, we damn near killed. So like we we put up a hell of a fight. At least we tried to anyway. And of course, straight into legendaries. Akazuki, Kuchizov, Worcester, Shima, Odin. All the things. Oh, we forgot to change our shit back too. Can you get a Montana game? I don't know. Just depends on how this one goes. If we have a good game here, probably not. If we don't, maybe. So we got to watch getting spotted through this left gap. And we got to watch that gap right there. Now this map is crossfire heavy. And we don't want to get blapped early like we did in our Georgia the other day. Uh, Bretta, I don't plan on actually playing much longer, to be honest. I already released a video for today, and then I did the stream. So I was going to kind of relax. Pretty much done with ships for the day. We will definitely be divvin' up at some point. For sure. Yeah, I didn't think we were gonna sneak that through. Trying to rush the shot to make sure we could try to hit him, but... Just didn't have enough. That, that mountain was really a problem. Kuchizov and Worcester, guys. And of course, we got two destroyers next to us, and neither of them, or both of them are doing their job. My, my destroyers aren't doing a fucking thing. Shoot him! Use your guns, you little bitch! Use your guns! I took all of his health! Shoot your fucking guns, you scrub! Stop trying to torp destroyers, you fucking idiots! God dang it! Just use your fucking guns for once in your fucking existence! Ah! God, I hate stupid people! I die to this fucking Shima because that stupid idiot wouldn't fucking use his freaking guns. I'm gonna lose my fucking mind.
Yeah, we saw that coming. We saw that coming, you dirty bitch! If our fucking DD had a fucking brain cell, you'd be at the bottom of the fucking ocean. You fucking useless prick. The ship is on fire. Two fucking battleships shoot that son of a bitch and our fucking destroyer launches torps at him instead of just fucking killing him with his guns. Unfucking believable. Shoot him! You're allowed to use your fucking guns, you scrub! Thank you! Was that so fucking difficult? You could have done that like three fucking minutes ago and I wouldn't be back here fucking holding your jock right now. Jesus. Hi, uh, how are you, Mr. Uh, Conqueror? Could you, uh, maybe not shove me into the island? I realize I kind of came over here and got in your way, but uh, it would be real nice if you would just maybe slow down a little bit, let me pass. McTavish said so. Please, please. I'm too thick. I'm too thick! Please let me pass! Oh, for the love of God. He's gonna shove my ass in. Oh, there he goes. He finally turned. Holy shit. I don't know where he's going. Like, he's got an island here. Where are you planning to go? Like, we can't go through the island. Boy. Oh, the people that I end up with on my teams. Like, I get it. I cut him off. That was totally on me that we ran. But to take three minutes to decide not to just keep pushing me towards the island? Like, I don't know where you're going. There's my last heal, too. I don't think we actually have the range to hit this man because we don't have our fucking range mod on. Oh my god, we hit him. That's surprising. Uh, you know what? I'll let you go. Go ahead. Go ahead, Mr. Conk. You got this. I believe in you. For some reason. I'm going to uh, double back with the rest of the team. You want to go out there all by yourself and get into uh, a gunfight with everybody? Like, go for it. Right, we know the Worcester has no health. We know that the fucking Conqueror used to have no health, but... Oh, we killed the Conqueror. Never mind. What am I thinking? Forgot. I forgot... Okay, Richelieu's low health, but he just got his high cow. So he's at least been doing some work. Oh, gosh. No, nah, I'm not I'm not planning on divin up, guys. Sorry. The hell is he doing all the way out there?
I think those went high. I don't know why that went like that. Okay. Prove me wrong. Conqueror gets it. Nice. Okay, well, it's just, uh, just the DD left, who's in Alpha. So, uh, GG's. Easy one. Our victory is in sight. Uh, no offense, but on the weekends, I like to just take the weekends off. Like, just like everybody else likes to have time away from their job. I enjoy my job a lot, but, uh... I do like to have time away from it as well. Well, down goes our Shima. Down goes the uh, Akazuki. Oh, I tell you, I worry about these people sometimes. Like, th that, the Shima launching torps at the Shima that has no health is the shit that just drives me fucking crazy. Like, you did a good job, you spotted them, you had two battleships blap the fuck out of them, and you still left them alive because you refused to use your guns. All you had to do is shoot him. One shell. He dies. Alright. I guess I'll play one more in the uh, the Montana. We gotta switch our build back, though. Oh. Bonk. That was real hard to switch our build back, right? Gives us our range. Uh, yeah, we'll have to open our crates, too. I'm, I'm sure we've got crates. Have I ever played a game called Stellaris? No, but I have heard of it. And I actually own Stellaris, the base game, on PC. I've just never actually played it. Stellaris is pretty good. I, I like watching people play Stellaris, but... I don't know, it just seems like a lot of micromanaging for something for me. Like, I just, I don't know. Later, Ross. Yeah, I'll open the crates before I leave. I promise. All right. One game for glory in the Montana, and that is it. None of this end with a bang. I like to end on a bang, but none of it. You got one game. Make it count, Spartan. Make it count. What do they got? They got Kuchizab, Mino, Alaska. One Yami somewheres. And a Shokaku. We get a freaking implacable. Ugh. Have I ever considered... I've never even played Battle Station Specific. Action stations. Uh, I, I bought or I rented Battle Stations Midway on Xbox 360 a long time ago. And the game didn't play. So I have, I've never played any of them. Oh, by the way. Uh, we broke 500 concurrent watchers the other day in a live stream. I don't know if you guys know this. 500 people, which is our new record. We've never broken 500 before, but we did that day. So, huge shout out to everybody. 
in the uh, last last week's stream. It was fantastic. I missed the super chat. Uh oh. Let me double check. Yo, Christopher Hill coming in with the five dollar super chat. Was finally able to play a game with you last night. We got stomped, but I tried to win my side and save a DD. GG. Well, GG. Hello? Can we look at the ship, please, auto aim? Also, we are bra oh my god. No, don't do it to me. That's Mino shooting at us there. I get all the fun on my side. Every time. Everybody. Look at this. All the guys on the right are shooting at me. My guys are falling back to, like, come all the way across the map. Like, it just... All the fun is to be had here. Yami's taking shots at me. Please hit this island. I need help. Which way are you going? One hit. How did those miss? How did they fall short? our curve first doing problem solved sir Dude, our Kerfers just went full stupid. Like, he just straight up... He, he turned off the, the fucking parental blockers and just went full stupid. Got some of the heat off of me, but Jesus, man. Gotta survive. He went forward. Now I'm being HE spammed by the fucking Kutcher's off. There's my last heal. Alright, we're gonna move up. Of course, give him a fire. Why not? He was just sitting in open water fucking shooting at me.
destroyed an enemy cruiser. All stations, reporting the position of a strategic... God target. dang, this fucking carrier! Where is my AA wargaming? Please! I need all of it! He says as he picks up a clear sky. I need support. Concentrate fire. Dude, we are gonna get murdered. Target. Problem solved, sir. We've got will to rebuild active at the moment. But against a fucking Yami, that's not gonna help a whole lot. We need our fucking fire starters to start working that son of a bitch. I mean, we've got two caps. We don't have to go crazy here. Protect ourselves a little while longer. He shouldn't be able to shoot us here. Because we can't shoot him either. Spam and Brandenburg out here. Yeah, I didn't think so. Carrier's now harassing our fucking destroyer over there. Give him a double fire. Of course you do. The ship is on fire. Enemy cruiser. Honor returning to ship. Enemy battleship detected. Okay, Yami's down. Let's push. Problem solved, sir. How are they still lobbing this fucking island? And they gave them a flood. Of oh, fucking course they did. Hold below the water line. We're flooding quickly. And they gave them a flood. Like, dude. This is why I think carriers are so fucking horseshit. The dude literally, I stripped, ha I got a clear skies off of him. He went over, he fucking murders our fucking destroyer. And then he comes back and murders me. This is without ever having to put himself in any sort of danger whatsoever. Our George is full health. He, God knows what he's done for the entire match. Probably nothing, if I had to guess. Ah, uh, it's frustrating, man. Carriers are so dumb. I wish they'd have never brought them to the fucking game. I wish they'd have never brought carriers to the game, man. It's so dumb. Iron Maiden. Old Iron Maiden, huh? I'm trying to think of the Iron Maiden song that I know. Amalfi, Mines, Mines, Mino. No Yami against us. I mean, no, no destroyers, no Yami. All right, we're gonna push straight up. Uh, 
At least we're going to try. Yeah, you're not wrong. Like, literally everybody shoots me. Like, you guys saw it. Like, my team was in a position where they couldn't even be shot at. So, it was literally everybody focused on me regardless. What happened to the last game? Well, you know, last games are last games. That one was incredibly frustrating. And then I was like, you know what? Let's jump on the, let's jump on the freaking Yami and see if I can get this thing to actually hit a target. Spotted by a fucking plane already. Imagine that. Tell me there's a carrier in the game without telling me there's a carrier in the game. We actually hit that man for 8k. First time we get hit with HE. Okay, game. Okay. We've already lost half our fucking hit points due to fires and the fucking torpedoes. Fuck off, man. Ah! I really wish that I didn't get fucked over every time I'm in a fucking ship. Like... I had any fucking teammates that you just do something other than sit behind a fucking island the entire goddamn game. So that I'm not the only fucking thing being shot at by everybody on the fucking map. And of course, there's another one there. Why not? Why the fuck not? Every fucking time I get hit with HE, every fucking time, it's a fucking fire. Where's my team? Nowhere to be fucking found. These guys get to sit in their fucking smoke on every side of the fucking map and spam me because nobody on my fucking team exists. Now we got the Mino shooting us too. Why not? Just make it fucking official. Jesus, teams, man. Look at my team's positioning. Ain't a single fucking person anywhere where they can shoot. Look at the enemy team. Like, these guys are nowhere to be fucking found. It is error 404, teammates not found. And this guy's shooting at the mines instead of shooting the fucking Amalfi. You know, the guy that's out there actively spotting us, keeping his team, allowing us, allowing them to shoot us. Why would you shoot that guy? What a crazy fucking thought. And down goes the fucking friendly Yamato. Dude, I have been on fire this entire fucking game. Because my team is just sitting here watching. Look at my team's positioning. They're not taking advantage of the fact that these guys are... Their entire team is focusing me. And my team's just watching. They're not taking advantage of it. Like, all of these fucking jackasses all the way over here. They're literally just fucking watching this match as everybody on the enemy team focuses us. They're doing nothing. 
Nothing. The entire enemy team is spamming us, and these guys are just watching. <laughs> what do they think's gonna happen when we're dead? Like, the enemy's gonna switch targets. It's fucking stupid, man. Like, you get no support from your dumbass teams. They just sit there and watch. Was Beast and the Harlot a uh, Iron Maiden song? Try to think. I think it was. There's nothing I could do in that. I literally put myself on an island. They sent an Amalfi out wide. I citadeled the fucking Amalfi. The dumbass fucking Yami that was next to me was shooting at the mines instead of shooting the fucking Amalfi. So they just kept us spotted. Their entire team was sitting behind fucking islands HE spamming us. There's nothing I could do. It's literally, I try to do everything I can, and my team just sits there and watches. Like, nobody's moving for positions. Nobody's doing anything. They just sit there and they watch. If anybody actively tried to get different positioning there, we could easily have won that match. And, and the way it is, I'm assuming we're going to lose. Like, our team just sits there in the base and waits for the enemy to come fuck him up. You've got to work for fucking positioning. If you see a guy getting focused, position yourself and maybe try to fucking counter it. Seven full penetrations, no fucking citadels on a broadside fucking Yamato. Ah, I love this game. That's me, it's fucking Citadel City. Oh, another Yami. That's fun. What do we got over here? Uh, Kerr first. Destroyer. Hey, we citadel that guy. How do we citadel that guy, but not the other guy? Explain that. Like, come on, man. Shit. I want to hold my fire in case this lion's able to detect this fucking Shima again. I don't think he will, but if he does, he just came out of his smoke. We are going to have to worry about the fucking... Right. 
We are going to have to worry about the Yamato coming back for Crossfire. You really hit me one time and get a fucking Citadel? Come on, man. In turning out at, at that, like I'm literally turning out. I can't see shit. What is this Yami doing, man? This Yami's kind of forcing me to turn back. I'm giving you assistance. What more assistance do you want? Like, I'm shooting everything. I feel like I'm the only one that's done any damage so far. You guys shot the fucking destroyer, but I didn't have guns ready at the time. And you're just rushing out to die. I gotta get spotted for half a fucking second. See if we can catch him off guard. Ouch. I think we got him actually. Enemy severely damaged. The ship is on fire. Well, that's fucking unfortunate now, isn't it? The ship is on fire. Of course it causes a flood. Hull breach. We're taking on Every fucking quickly. torpedo always does. Every fucking time. Imagine that. Fucking Leo, the lion just sailing straight into fucking death instead of fucking being smart about it. Their destroyer coming back and getting me with a fucking torpedo right after I damage Khan, of course. And every fucking torpedo causes a flood. Our Yami hasn't done a fucking thing for this entire match. Like he has actually been useless. Maybe he finished off the mines. Somebody finished off the mines. I did all the fucking damage. Nobody can fucking do any damage. You're firing HE out of a fucking Yami, you useless fuck! You're- I'm done. Nope. Nope, I'm not watching. I'm not watching. I'm not. I'm done. I'm done with this shit. Like, I'm actually fucking done. I'm gonna go roast some people. No Soviet death is not Russian. He lives in fucking uh, the U.S. He's a friend of mine. He's had that name for years. God, this shit's fucking obnoxious today, man.
Like, can we get a fucking team that's not completely fucking useless? Like, they spot the Shima early, and then they just chase him into fucking oblivion. And get absolutely fucking torched because of it. I should have just kept my fucking distance. That's all I should have done. I should have just fucking kept my distance and just fucking worked them over. Because, you know, it's not like I didn't have 160,000 damage or whatever it was. It's not like I'm the only fucking person doing any sort of damage whatsoever to anything. Fucking Lion didn't do shit for damage. The fucking Yami didn't do shit for damage. I took all of the GK's health. I took all of the fucking health of the mines. Took uh, health from two different Yamis across the fucking map. And we get people that just can't fucking do anything. I think we actually don't have Big 7 on either. So this isn't going to be quite as good as it could be. Let's get to it. None Chuck Norris, huh? Interesting name. You imagine Chuck Norris with nunchucks? All forces provide cover for that target. Dude, please don't fucking stop. going behind you regardless of what your fucking thought process here is like you were headed forward i tried to go fucking behind you and you just stopped and now i'm fucking broadside to the entire enemy team and you're still trying to fucking reverse just go forward just a little bit going forward an extra fucking two kilometers isn't gonna fucking hurt you especially consider you're fucking bow in i'm the one broadside as a motherfucker Pretty sure they shot at him and hit me right there. Teammate, I need your support. Enemy battleship sighted. Now what's he doing? What's he doing? He's just fucking reversing. Switch to AP for our next salvo. See if we can catch these guys slipping. How you like HE spam, huh, Cleveland? You like that? Goodbye, Cleveland. For 
first heal. Again, where's my teammates? There's a fucking Cleveland sitting here broadside to everybody that's on this side of the map. Nobody's shooting him. And they fall short. Of course they do. And he doesn't get moving either. We get a full penetration for no damage. <sighs> Switching back to HE. Look at this. What are you fucking idiots doing? Can we get any fucking support, support from anybody that's sitting there at the center of the fucking map? You guys want to move and actually try to do something? LT, I see you in here. Like, you, you guys want to, like, move up? Maybe provide some fire? Like, anything? I just feel like I'm constantly the only fucking person shooting anything. Oh, the game's over. Great. About time. Like, their whole team on my side can shoot at me the entire game. And my team just sits there. And yet they somehow get higher than me on the fucking leaderboard. So clearly they shot something, even though I don't know what the fuck that was. Would be fucking nice. Yeah, I don't think I had Big 7 on. God, this shit gets annoying, man. It's like I literally get focused every fucking game by everybody on, on the map. And my team just finds the nearest island and sits there. They don't trade any fucking hit points. They just let the enemy sit there and fucking whittle me away. Now, clearly it worked that time because they were able to at least shoot something. I don't know who the fuck they shot. I know they lost both their destroyers early. And I guess they killed the fucking Roma. But that's it. Like, I don't know what else they shot at for the rest of the match. Getting into it with a bunch of fucking people that we know. It just gets frustrating. You end up with so many fucking teammates that just refuse to get shot at. Like, they, they won't put their ship out there where they can actually be shot at by anybody. Even if there's nobody shooting at them. Nobody shooting at you. What the fuck are you afraid of? Everything. <sighs> this one goes like the last couple have gone i'm literally just done for the day shit's fucking irritating the shit out of me There it is. There it the fucking is. Oh, here we go. And we've already lost our Brandenburg. Fantastic.
Must be nice to have spotting. <laughs> you know? Problem solved, sir. Looks like Slap's about to engage me, if I had to guess. Just turned around to go face me, bow tank. And of course, I got these fuckers here shooting at me again. I think I'd be outside the fucking spotting range of that fucking Roma, but... Clearly I'm not. Oh, he's pushing. Does he not see me? Is he actually, like, completely oblivious to the fact that I'm here? No, he's not. These fucking cruisers can go fuck themselves. Get a little bit further behind this island here. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. You gotta be fucking kidding me! This man's gonna dump six fucking torpedoes into me, point fucking blank. Ain't a damn thing I can do about it. I hate this game, dude. If I have ever had any fucking teammates on my side of the fucking map, it would be a, a fucking blessing. But it doesn't happen. It never fucking happens. I've got nobody ever. Problem solved, sir. Just constantly fucking surrounded by everybody and my fucking team just nowhere to be fucking found. And they score a fucking fire on me. That's what you do. Of course. It's just fucking teammates. I mean, could you imagine having fucking teamwork? Could you fucking imagine having any fucking team whatsoever? Like, it's just constantly. I got fucking... I got a guy in the center of the fucking map focusing me. I've got to bow tank him because he just sees me and he has to fucking bow tank me. 
Then I got a fucking cruiser with torpedoes to get six fucking torpedoes per side because balance. He fucking rushes me. And then while I'm focusing him, the other fucking cruiser rushes me. Meanwhile, my team just fucking... I mean, they, they're killing everybody, right? They're clearly fucking killing everybody. But if I could ever get anybody that's near me to fucking do something useful, I don't have any fucking teams. There's never a single fucking person near me that does anything. Ever. It's me versus everybody. Every fucking game. Like, we win that match, right? Everybody be like, well, Spartan, you won the match. What are you fucking complaining about? I'm complaining that I don't ever have a fucking teammate next to me. Ever. They're always in the back of the fucking map, hiding behind a fucking island. There's nothing I can do. I have to bow tank the fucking 15-inch battleship who's sitting in the center of the fucking map. Nobody gives a fuck about him, right? So while I'm bow tanking him, all of the fucking little bastards come out of the fucking woodworks. Little fucking cockroaches everywhere. Just come out of the fucking woodworks. I don't ever have a fucking teammate near, near me. They're always the most useless fucking people on the planet that are next to me. They find the nearest fucking rock and they crawl under that shit for the entirety of the fucking match. They will never put themselves in any fucking danger. They will never put themselves in any position to actually help me. They're not taking crossfire opportunities when they have them. And that's been shown. How many fucking games in a row now? How many fucking games in a row does it show that I can be focused by so many fucking people and nobody can take advantage of those people? The game with uh, LT and them on fucking Northern Waters. We win that match. Why? Did they shoot anybody on my side of the fucking map? No. They didn't shoot the fucking Cleveland. They didn't shoot the Yamato. They didn't shoot the Stalingrad. All those guys are still fucking alive. Still broadside to everybody on my team. And nobody fucking takes a shot at them. None of them. It's just fucking useless, man. You don't get any fucking teammates that actually do anything useful. Like, the people that spawn with me. Watch. I'm, I'm gonna just say, this Lo Yang should absolutely fucking dominate this side of the match. Kansas should absolutely dominate this side of the fucking match. Both these guys will be as useless as possible, probably. Won't get shit done. Just gets fucking old, man. That should be a fucking pounding right there. Who the hell is shooting HE? Gearing versus Lo Yang. We gotta have to help that guy out a little bit. Lo Yang smokes up. There we go. Splat. We just blapped the fuck out of that Gearing. Surely the Lo Yang can win that fight now, right? Okay, Montana's dead. One ricochet off of the ass of a fucking whatever game. I'm done. I'm done arguing with you today. This fucking game can suck my dick. Double fired. Of course. Of course. It's gotten four fires on us already. Could you imagine having the fucking RNG that these fucking useless pricks get? 
Like, I, I just wish I could get that fucking RNG once in a while. Just once in a while. Who wants to take a bet on him getting another double fire on his next salvo? Anybody? Place your bets. Does he get a double fire on his next salvo? Wasting so much time waiting for the shot on this fucking Brandenburg. <laughs> we only get two shells to actually hit his fucking ship and both of them ricochet. Even though I aimed high. I hate this game, dude. This game is so bad. Again, just fucking give it up. It hits exactly where it has to to do no damage. I'm aiming high. I know where I need to hit. I know that it has the fucking icebreaker. I aim high and he just still gets away with everything. And he double fires me. Did he get his torpedoes away? I don't think so. Oh, he, he totally got his fucking torpedoes away. And he's gonna get a flood here. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! If, if the fucking RNG in this game was anything for anybody else the way it is for me. Like, I literally fucking call it. Like, I was like, nope. Did he get his torps away? I don't think he got his torps away. As soon as I turn out, that's when the fucking torps light up. Like, you can't fucking make it up. You can't fucking make it up. As soon as I turn out thinking, okay, I think we got him before he got his torps away. Fuck this game, man. Seriously. This game sucks today. It's like there's no fucking fun in this. Might as well take a shot at him. It's the last shot we're gonna get because our fucking Lo Yang is nowhere near being able to fucking give us will to rebuild i just i give up guys i really do i don't know what to fucking say anymore i don't know what to fucking say we gotta take fucking rng out of this fucking equation clearly clearly we gotta take fucking rng out of this equation to have any fun in this game just we got to I'm done with it. I'm not going to be fucking spotted by every fucking thing and shot every fucking game. From now on, I'm a fucking DD main. I'm going to be a Shimakaze, a Shimakaze main for the rest of the fucking time that I play this game. How about that? How about that? I'm just going to fucking spam this ship into a fucking oblivion. There's no reason to play anything else. God, this shit fucking pisses me off. I am aiming high. I'm damn near aiming off his fucking ship. The shells are all going low. They're all going low. But by God, if it's anybody else's Yamato, those are fucking rail guns right where they have to fucking go. But because it's me, nope, we're not allowed to hit that shot. Ever. It's fucking useless. It's fucking useless, dude. Maybe I need to aim for his fucking conning tower. Get, it, get the fucking... Get to the fucking conning tower. Maybe that's how I fucking do damage, right? Like, I know where I need to shoot. We've seen this in fucking 1v1s. I know how to fucking defeat an icebreaker when you overmatch. But when the game says fuck you, the game says fuck you. There's nothing you can do about it. Like, there's literally nothing. 
Like, I know what I gotta do. But the game just says, fuck you. God, I fucking can't stand this shit sometimes. Sad part is I still love this game. After all the bullshit, I still play this game every fucking day like a complete doofus. Putting up with the same bullshit. Day in and day out. Look at his teammates actually shooting fucking destroyers. Good lord. Could you imagine? You'd think people would want a fucking Shimakaze off the board. That's crazy talk. We have, what? Two cruisers and a battleship right here and only one of them shot at the fucking guy and didn't hit him? Could you fucking imagine having a teammate that actually could fucking shoot? It's crazy talk. Crazy fucking talk. And somehow we, the Yami got through all that horse shit. Somehow the Yami gets through it. Down goes our mines. Come on, give me the fucking fire, damn it. Of course not. Why would I get a fire? Crazy talk. We actually hit him. We've got Alpha, we've got Charlie. Hipposin. Why does that sound familiar? Shima's coming back in in this Conqueror right here. I can't afford to take this fight.
Okay, copper goes down. Puts us in a little bit less precarious position. We're so dead. We're so dead. We fucked up. This guy charged forward at the perfect time to fuck us. Okay, just disengage. Don't have to do anything crazy. Edinburgh can't hurt us because he's got AP. And now we disappear. And now we just give all of the wall of skill. A radar Edinburgh? Really? Interesting. And he gets another fire, dude. The fucking RNG is fucking insane! Get juked, bitch! I will sit in this fucking smoke screen until this game's over. If I have to. I don't want to. I want to go fucking murder this carrier now. Game over. <sighs> win. Let's try it again, shall we? Can we win another one? Back to back Shima games. Bet I can. Why? Because I do my fucking job as a destroyer. And I know how to use my fucking guns, unlike most Shima players. They got a Friesland with their fucking Brandenburg division. Okay. And they got a fucking carrier. Damn, they just fucking hold nothing back in this one. They got a fucking gunboat destroyer to counter. They've got a fucking uh, carrier to counter. They want my giblets. Okay, so Skirt Monkey's come in this direction, so we know that their Friesland's here as well. And they've got carrier support.
標に攻撃を集中せよ Where are we gonna go to actually make an impact here? Their carrier and shit's on this side. You can't seriously think I'm dumb enough to get fucking torped by your bullshit. Hey, Greg, that's not a thing. You're not that dumb. He hits one bomb. Of course he does. That's how that works, right? Hits another bomb. And the battleship shoots me. Fucking... Imagine having teammates, man. Wouldn't it be great? Wouldn't it be fucking great to have teammates? Just saying, like, it would be amazing if I had teammates once in a while. Like a carrier or a fucking battleship. Just getting harassed by these fucking bullshit fucking plane or like these ships that shouldn't be a fucking thing. Like a carrier just sitting out there just fucking nuking me from the back of the fucking map. Meanwhile, my team's just sitting in the back of the spawn. Not doing a damn thing. It's fucking wasting my time with these fucking teams, man. Here he comes again. Watch. As soon as he gets in range, my AA is going to kick off and he's going to come right to me. There's nothing I can do about it. Spotted by planes. The Friesland's right here. I dodge. The Friesland hits me with every fucking shell. Just fucking waste of time, dude. What an amazing fucking game. Get the fuck out of here. At least I got one of the fucking turd monkeys. God dang it. Fucking worthless ass teams, dude. So fucking useless. 
get harassed by a fucking carrier the entire game in my fucking destroyer. Friesland just runs right up on me. Can't have a fucking carrier of my own do anything useful. That'd be crazy talk. Could you imagine? Fucking carrier on my team's a complete fucking pencil eater. Doesn't fucking do anything. Oh, I love this game, dude. Oh, I love this game, man. It's so much fun. It's so much fun when you got people that can just sit there above you the entire game with their fucking horse shit fucking carrier. And regardless of what you try to do to fucking dodge, like, they hit you with fucking bombs regardless because they drop 60 of them at a fucking time. So much fun. Guys, I am very well aware of what I said. Just enjoy it, please. That game right there is a perfect showcase of why you need to be able to turn off your AA in this stupid fucking game. If you're going to bring carriers, give us the ability to turn the fucking AA off. The fact that it is literally a fucking come shoot me sign is fucking stupid as fuck. Like, give a give the DDs a chance to fucking turn that shit off. They do it on PC. Why can't they give it to us on fucking Legends? But Spartan, the whole reason we brought eight carriers was to help counter destroyers. I'll believe that with my fucking... Never mind. Hits me with one shell from a secondary, gets a fire, on fire over the top of a fucking mountain. Our lightning's about dead already, because of course he is. He doesn't know how to disengage. Problem solved, sir. Well done, dude. Did a hell of a job. Really did. Oh, he fucking turns in. God dang it, man. Who the fuck turns in? You're supposed to turn out. What the fuck is this Bismarck doing?
the hell did the Fiji just launch his torps at? The fucking Bismarck through the island? As we'll start rotating the guns. they all fall short it's exactly what I was expecting to happen right these guys out the right side are about to push up so I'm gonna have to help them at some point I don't know where the rest of our team is I guess we got three here plus me Hi, Edinburgh. All stations. Enemy cruiser sunk. What is their DD? Kagero. All stations requesting fire on the designated target. Spotter returning to ship. Requesting fire on the designated target. The ship is on fire! Okay, will to rebuild's gone. Battleship destroyed. I need help. Atlanta. What? Oh my god. Like, this game can actually fuck off. There's no way that they let him get away with that. No fucking way. Dude did nothing to dodge it other than go f further broadside, and I get one hit. All of the shells fall short. suck my dick i am so done with this fucking horse shit like i'm not even gonna fucking lie but this shit can seriously just suck it i'm done with this shit dude
just no fucking there's nothing nothing good ever comes out of this fucking game anymore just a bunch of horse shit like that fucking one one salvo falls completely short because reasons right that that's what happens you just you fire your full broadside at a fucking ship that's broadside at fucking eight kilometers and every shell falls short every one of them and then when you get the fucking shot that finally hits him, you leave him with, you leave him alive. He gets a double fire on you and then the fucking reload boosting fucking John Bart kills me. And somehow we were one of the last people alive on the team. Because reasons. Because reasons. Just stupid fucking bullshit, dude. Fucking stupid. Uh, just team after team of just completely fucking potatoes. If the lightning had two brain cells, he gets out of the way of the fucking Bismarck and is able to stick around and kill the fucking Kagero. That's too much to ask. He dies immediately. He failed his torp run, couldn't even kill the fucking Bismarck from point blank. Fails his torp run and just sits there in front of him waiting to die. Because that's what you do. It's what you do, folks. Fletcher, Kaba, or Shima? Nice work. Find out soon enough. Come on, get the base capped. Okay, Shima at 6.8, huh? It's odd. And the Montana just beaches himself. Boy, I just... You guys are real good at the game. How are they missing this fucking mines right now? Shoot the fucker. Hopefully we cause a flood with the first one and then he damage cons that and gets caught with the flood on the last one. That's the thought process. Otherwise, we could just death strike him right up. That would be nice too. <laughs> he 
You gotta be shitting me. You've actually got to be shitting me. That shit spread out so perfectly to give him a fucking opportunity to slip between the last set. Really? Wow. It wasn't so close to a fucking Montana's broadside and a fucking uh, Yami, I would definitely take that shot on the fucking Shima. But as it stands, this guy would very much like to fuck me up. And I don't want to give him that. I don't know what this guy has got for a build on his Shima, but this is the worst concealment Shima I've ever seen in my life. Like, I have never seen a Shima detected at 6.2 kilometers so often. Thought it was a fluke the first time, but no, it's, it's consistent. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, feeling a little bit, a uh, little bit helpless on this side of the map. Okay, they finished off the Montana. That's good news. I might actually catch that Shima with those torpedoes too. Launched him at the Yami, but... If you don't think I'm willing to get in a fucking engagement with you, you're out of your fucking mind. Especially with that permaflood on your fucking... pal there, bud. Okay. We get to disappear. Now we get to line up these guys for torpedoes. Also, I don't know how that was not a perma flood on that Yami. Like, I'm fairly confident that should have been a perma flood. If this Bismarck rushes around this corner, he's going to eat all of these torpedoes from this Mino, which will be his death. Here they come. Oh, uh, he only got one set away. And he fucking misses. Holy shit. Shit. I have royally fucked up. Attention, support that target. Okay, he should be dead. Bismarck dodged. 
What is their... They got a Kaba left. Of course they do. Okay, as soon as this fucking Yami leaves this base, I should be able to grab that. There we go. Kaba's over there, so we're good there. I'll grab this base. Okay, they just lost their Kaba. Jeez. Uh, had to hold that side pretty fucking hard. Not gonna lie. Sounds like it's raining outside. Alright. One more, and we're done. Regardless of the outcome, I'm done after this one. Yeah, I know. Crazy that we actually got back up on that DD, right? Not that it mattered. I would have killed him regardless. He had less hit points than me. And we got the first shot off, so... I was gonna kill him regardless, but yeah, could you imagine? Actually getting a fucking ship to shoot something when you spot it? Crazy talk. Crazy talk. Both of the Joseph Starvins are in here, huh? Interesting. I don't want to play the kid, Monty. It's a good chip, I just... Eh. I played the... Uh, didn't I play the kid? No, I played the Benham the other day, didn't I? I think I played the Benham. Well, they got Shima, Kleber, two Alaskas, bunch of battleships. Okay. Richie. Okay, so the Starvins are going to the Bravo cap. Somebody's here that isn't the Amagi. Who is it? I think that Clabert just beached. If he did, he's dead. Okay, apparently he didn't beach. Good to know. We'll get this base capped, hopefully, and... And we'll slip on out of here and go 
Fuck up the starvins. Ah, it's contested. Be a good time to have some support. I've had that guy spotted how many times and nobody's taking a shot like this is this is the problem This is the problem with this game Like I've given up a, I have to give up this cap I can't sit here and let these guys push up on me while my team just sits there with their thumb up their ass Like there's nothing I can do There goes our Mino. So the thought process here is to grab the Delta cap. That'll stop the fucking bleeding, but my team is just useless. They're not doing anything. Again. Like, I can only sit there for so long. I spot the guy, he comes after me, I launch torps at him, I miss because, obviously, like, it's damn near impossible to hit a guy with fucking torpedoes and a destroyer. We're not getting any support from anybody, so it's just like we have to have to let it go. So we come over here, we grab the fucking cap that stops the bleeding a little bit, or at least slows the bleeding. We get this base cap, then we can turn around and try to fucking help kill some shit and get the bases or get the points coming back. Hopefully. God, I almost potatoed there. That would have been bad. Almost potatoed. Our team's just getting ripped apart now. 
Every one of them. Like, I, this is this is what I, I I can't stand. Like, I try to fucking help my team initially, and then nobody does anything, and then I get forced to try to play the the smart fucking play, and my team just folds. They're just all dead. It's completely useless. Entire fucking team of potatoes. Engine boost, so And now I'm radared. Just random radar. Why not? Why not? Just a fucking random radar. Come on. 30 seconds should be up by now. I want to know how he's faster than me in a fucking super cruiser. That's what I want to know. I want to know how he's faster than me. I'm running engine boost and that man came around the fucking island and was faster than me. Uh, this game, I just, I want to fucking uninstall this shit today. Not gonna lie. I actually want to fucking uninstall this shit. This has been the most miserable fucking existence ever. Just the dumbest fucking players on the planet ending up on my teams. Nobody's capable of doing anything smart. Oh, but Spartan, you didn't get any damage. I wonder why I didn't get any fucking damage, Jet. I wonder. Could it be the fact that I spawned in... Right next to a fucking Colbert that will fuck me up. He actually had support from his teammates. I kept him lit up. Nobody fucking shot at him. Then they all die to him later on. Maybe you should maybe take a shot at him next time. Maybe. Just a thought. Maybe just a thought. Then I go across the map to make the play to fucking at least keep us in the game. And as soon as I get into the fucking cap and start capping, my entire team dies and it's just fucking game over. Like, there's nothing you can do. So yeah, I got zero damage. Got zero assist too because my team's fucking retarded. Just stupid teams, man. Shima Shima gearing. Fun. There are games you are just destined to fucking lose because of the stupid fucks that end up on your team, and that was one of them. Like, we didn't have anybody on our team do anything. I can't win a heads-up gunfight with a fucking club bear that has a reload booster. Can't do it. Like, there's no fucking gunfight win there. So if I start shooting him... Plus, he's got the fucking Yamato backing him up. What do I have? I have two battleships hiding behind a fucking island and a cruiser doing God knows what. So, yeah. Nobody. Nobody. It's what I get. It's what I get. But Spartan, if you division with people, then you would actually have teammates. Yes, you're right. I would. And how boring would the fucking streams be going 30-0 and 0 every fucking night? Look how great we are. We have two comp or two competent teammates with us. Isn't this great? Isn't this what everybody wants to see? Is 
Already done the math, folks. Already fucking done the math. You guys do not want to see me in divisions. It's pretty fucking obvious. This is the gearing I'm gonna fucking lose my god darn mind. Well, he left the base. I say is I'm about to leave the base. That leads me to believe it's a Shima, not the Geary. VTK Victor, thank you for the uh, five dollar R's. Not sure what that is. And of course, he gets back in the base. Little fuck. And he's got teammates. Like this is the thing. Look at where my teammate is. Look at where their theirs are. And it's the fucking gearing. Oh my god. Oh my god, I love this game so much. So much. So much I love this game. Of course it's the gearing. Why would it be anything other than the gearing that spawns right fucking across from me? It's the one thing that perfectly counters me, I know this. That's why of course it's the gearing. Meanwhile, my team is nowhere to be found. See if we can get the reset here. There we go. Now we just dodge for a moment. Teammate, I need your support. What a noble concept. What a noble concept. Teammate, I need your support. Teammate, I need your support. What a noble concept. Right? What a noble concept.
Teammate, I need your support. Hey, they killed the Gary. That's cute. Shima kills in Iowa. Boy, if only somebody had shot the Shima. Only. Teammate, I need your support. The corner of the map is lonely. I had a dollar for every time somebody requested support in this match. Down goes our Kaba. We've got all three caps. They still have two Shimas. Other downside is we traded all of our hit points trying to get rid of that Shima. So getting into a gunfight from here on out has to be very, very calculated. There's the sonar, or there's the radar, of course. Bet you his teammates shoot at me. Roma's about to die. Gross occur first is full health. Surely they can kill one fucking Alaska between the two of them. Right? Down goes Roma. Swear to God, if these, these guys both die to this fucking Alaska, I'm going to lose my damn mind. Looks like Alaska's going for Ram. Oh boy.
This is that hopeless feeling again. Where your team just fucking does nothing and... You just hope that they can fucking do something useful. Alaska got his hike out. Oh boy. Yeah, of course he gets it. Of course he does. I just, guys, I, what am I supposed to do? Like, what am I actually supposed to do if my teams are this fucking incompetent? Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, it's actually fucking useless to play this game. Like, you can't, you can't enjoy these games with these fucking idiots. You just can't. Look at this shit. But yeah, we're winning more than we're fucking losing, especially with the fucking shit, but like, god dang, dude. You can't enjoy these games. Like, you're just not allowed. Just a bunch of bumblefucks. It's like World of Tanks the other night, man. Seven and a half hours streaming World of Tanks of just pure fucking agony of just stupid bullshit. Bunch of fucking idiots running around with their shit like chickens with their heads cut off. That's all it is. Of course, there's a fucking Yamato right there, too. And of course, they give him the Citadel. Of course, they do. Doesn't matter what I fucking do, they always put whatever fucking counters me the hardest right fucking next to me. And then I take a shot at a hipper and he just fucking gets away. Just fucking full speed ahead, avoids the shit. Get 
Please come around that corner. I dare you. I fucking dare you to come around that corner. Really, game? First time I get hit with an HE shell, fire. The ship is on fire. I don't know why our Yami is going around that island. Should have pushed through the inside here. And they give him a fire immediately again. The ship is on fire. And a double fire. Fantastic. I am so glad that there's so much fucking balance in this game for this fucking HE mechanic. So fucking balanced. Unbelievable amount of balance in this game. where having the teammate push up with me would have come in real fucking handy. Not gonna lie. Would have come in real fucking handy. Instead of going all the way around the island.
I've got a cruiser right behind me that's not getting close enough to actually help with fucking will to rebuild. Which would really come in handy right about now. Solved, sir. Here comes the double. Nope, got a fire. And again, I'm going to burn to death because I got nobody anywhere near me. Like these fucking idiot teammates, man. They just don't fucking give a fuck. None of them. None of them do. They just sail around and fucking do nothing. The entirety of the fucking match. Bunch of fucking idiots, man. Ask for fucking help. I got a cruiser right fucking behind me. What does he do? He just sails away from me. He gets further away from me. Fucking idiots. It's just too much to ask for a teammate, right? Like, the fucking Yami that was right fucking next to me that entire time goes all the way around the outside of the fucking map instead of just sticking next to me. Too much to fucking ask to have fucking teammates do anything that is smart whatsoever. They just don't have two fucking brain cells to rub together. None of them. in five minutes. What did the guy do? What did he accomplish after just sailing away from the one guy he could have potentially helped? What did he accomplish? Nothing. He's fucking down here. Did nothing. He's right fucking behind me. Could have easily just sailed into my fucking will to rebuild range. But nope. Nope. He literally turns dead left and fucking hightails it out. For what? To do nothing. Grosser Kerfurst was the guy that was actually closest to me that went all the way around the fucking map. What did he do? Nothing. Bottom of the fucking team. Uh, Yamato, just slightly above them. Mines gets two kills, but what's he do? Nothing. Uh, it's so frustrating, guys. Why don't I use the Sharn horse? At least I'll know how to use it. What are you in, you implying that I don't know how to use the Shima or the Montana? Because I feel like, you know, the guy sitting with the current world record for damage in the fucking Montana kind of knows how to use it. Just throwing that out there.
Didn't know you were in that game. I was in the Roma. GG. So, so. He's not actually running his hydro. Interesting. Also, just want to point out that that Fletcher does not run fucking Twist and Track or Perceptive, which is insanity. Both of their DDs are here. See if we can't go up here and spot these guys. Neither of these guys is running perceptive or twist and trick, which is crazy. It's actually crazy. I don't understand why people do dumb shit like that. Got one. There goes the Fletcher. I ain't scared of a fucking Shima fight. Let's go. Oh, there's Shima's booking it. He's about to go down mid, it looks like. So 
soon as we get this, I'm gonna fucking get into their other base. Like, surely the, the carrier can kill a fucking torpedo boat that's in a narrow-ass corridor, right? Like, surely he can take care of that. Teammate, I need your support. A Lexington at that. He, he clips a torpedo tube. Of course he does. Of course he does. These guys have the lead right now. And their carrier is going to fucking hassle me. Ain't shit I can fucking do about it. I need to get into this fucking base. I can wrap back around to the fucking Mino and see if I can get some help there. I need to get away from this fucking carrier, man. If I can get in here, I can kill this fucking Shima. That'll help. And then I can get free of the Shima and hopefully go after the rest of the team here. I think carrier got distracted. What's their cruiser? Alaska. Great. Engine boost to Kaijo.
All right, now I need to get around to the other base, get into Delta. Is that the Iowa? It is. Okay. Okay. We can do this. It's gonna be close, but we can fucking do this shit. Okay, Massachusetts goes down. That gives us the lead. If I get into Delta, that secures the fucking cap advantage. Who's out here with this Iowa? All right, that was fucking beautiful bump stop. You guys gotta, you guys gotta realize that was a beautiful fucking bump stop. It's like I know he's gonna disappear, but as soon as I take and fucking get into cover, I got his ass. Now we get this base and we get the win. Dubsky. Good fucking lord, this is the sweatiest thirty thousand damage game I've ever had. Which is saying something. Because I've had some sweaty fucking matches in this thing. Got three solo caps. Let's go make it a fourth, shall we, boys? Play for the dubby. I can't believe that that Mino is still alive. Like, that Mino is actually goaded at this point. Goodbye, Mr. Iowa. Bonk. I don't know how to play the Shima, boys. Don't know how to play it. I agree. There's nothing more we can do here, boys. Nothing more we can do. Our work here is done. Well, I had to get those torpedoes off to catch that Iowa on his turn. So, and it worked. What up, JR? Appreciate you dropping in, man. What's our base XP going to be, guys? Take your bets. Take your bets. What's the base XP for this? 
We got one assist cap, three solo caps. We got fucking 46,000 damage with three kills. 2737. 2737. Not too shabby. <sighs> and on that, I think I'm going to end on that game, guys. I've had enough for the day. It's been a ridiculous game. A ridiculous evening of, of ships after the uh, ranked battles. Hopefully everybody enjoyed. Um, it's been a, been a doozy for sure. But I appreciate everybody dropping by. Thank you guys again for all of the generous donations as well as just hanging out and chat. Thank you for putting up with my whitey bitch attitude. And if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video.